A United Nations report is calling for swift action to cut emissions of methane, a greenhouse gas that's second only to carbon dioxide in driving global warming. Uh, the report says that curbing methane emissions could deliver immediate and long-lasting benefits for the climate because the gas only lingers in the atmosphere for a relatively short time. Our chief environment correspondent, Justin Rowlatt, has the story. You are about to meet methane. The gas that fires your stove seeps from rotting organic material and bubbles from our stomachs and those of cows and sheep. But just look what happens when you add a little bit of pure oxygen. Methane is a much more potent greenhouse gas than carbon dioxide. Each molecule has 120 times the effect. And the real difference between methane and carbon dioxide is that methane breaks down after about a decade. But carbon dioxide will be with us for thousands of years. Methane concentrations in the atmosphere have been steadily increasing. But because it breaks down so quickly in the air, the UN says if we can cut emissions, we can rapidly get rid of this powerful warming gas. That means urgently tackling the methane produced by the oil and gas industry, by agriculture and in our waste. Methane is second only to carbon dioxide uh, when it comes to driving climate change. And... The assessment shows that to put the world on a path that is consistent with the Paris Agreement target of the 1.5 degrees, methane emissions must be reduced by 45% by 2030. The report says the fossil fuel industry has the greatest potential to cut methane emissions cheaply by plugging leaks at oil and gas wells and at coal mines, but we can all do our bit to help. We can cut back on red meat and dairy, and if you get a compost collection, do always put your organic waste in it because it's much easier for emissions to be controlled that way. And technology can help. A new network of high-resolution satellites has been launched that can spot methane emissions like the methane plume from this rubbish dump in the Indonesian capital, Jakarta. It's spewing methane equivalent to the CO2 from three quarters of a million cars. And methane is also linked to air pollution that causes tens of thousands of deaths a year worldwide. Yet another reason, says the UN, to start reducing emissions right now. Justin Rowlatt, BBC News.